In this video, I'm going to uh, do a transformation here on Tammy. Uh, Tammy is a four-year-old elder terrier girl. Uh, she is well overdue and the reason is uh, because she had puppies. The puppies are about nine weeks old now, so they, are about, uh, they, are, they went to their new homes and so she can be hamstring now and um, it will be interesting to see how the coat changes after puppies. Usually in long leg terriers, from my experience, um, the girls are uh, bold after hand stripping because they're losing undercoat. Uh, so we'll see what's the case <laughs> today. Um, I don't really know Tammy. Um, it's the only second time I met her. She's, she is a little bit stressed, so I'll be using a calming floral spray to help her to settle. And let's hand strip. Hi, I'm Itka, I'm the founder of Ita Canis and happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. Here at Ita Canis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, I'm uh, kicking the table quite low because I want Tammy to feel more comfortable and confident. Um, also, she does have a nose, it's quite loose, so she can move her head and her neck. And here I have ready my favorite stripping knives from Lonsdale, uh, a bristle brush and a chalk. And of course, calming floral spray because as I said and you can see she is a bit stressy so I'll be using the spray during the hand stripping. When looking at the coat it's difficult to see if there is an undercoat or a new coat already so what I have to do I just have to start stripping her and then we'll see. So a little spritz of or a spray to keep Tammy happy and I'm going to put a little bit of chalk on the coat and start stripping on the back because this is the easiest part to hand strip. So I'm holding the hair by the tip. The coat is well overgrown, we call it blown so it's very easy to pull out. And let's see on this patch here what we're we gonna get. With hand stripping, we can't choose the length of the new coat because we are pulling the hair instead of cutting. It is very important to hold the hair by the tip not close to the skin because in that case uh, you would pull out the undercoat and even a new coat and make both patches. So after a few seconds pretty much of hand stripping you can see um, the result. Yes, yeah, so she doesn't have undercoat but she already has little bit of new coat growing it's very thin but uh, at least she won't be bald as you can see she stopped panting and now she's more interested in what's going on outside good girl I will do another video with her in about five to six weeks so you'll be able to see the difference and we are be able to roll the coat in that point. Sometimes terriers um, have to be hands rebolt if they don't have new coat underneath or there is no undercoat and as I mentioned earlier 
when we hand stripping because we are pulling the hair instead of cutting we can't choose the length so if you uh, if you are a dog lover and you hand stripping clients dogs it is very important to explain to them and do a little patch on the back or a head for them to see what the coat going to look like after hand stripping because when we're clipping we can show the clients the length of the blade or comb attachment but with hand stripping we can't so the only way to show them or prepare them <laughs> for the res final result is to do a little patch on the back or head shoulder anywhere on the body good girl I'm stretching the skin on her neck from the other side. <laughs> I try to work with the dog, so if she wants to move a little bit, I don't mind. Um, she will be more cooperative in the future. Is that right? Is it? <laughs> really pleased she settled very quickly and she's not panting anymore so at the moment I don't have to use the calming spray but if she gets stressed again I'll reply it so when you're grooming you can use the calming floral spray whenever it's needed when you see the signs of stress like panting drooling um, fidgeting, uh, or if you feel any tension or stress, then I would recommend to use calming floral spray. Now you can see on her coat, like here on the neck, the coat is more dense. Uh, you can see some under, <laughs> good girl, some undercoat and a gingery hair here. That's the new coat. And as we go closer to the tail. The coat is getting thinner so it's not unusual to have different density of coat on different parts of the body as you can see now here she doesn't have a lot of hair in uh, in her tucker so I'm going to hand strip this part and just leave the hair here and then create a tucker. Also, I have to be very careful trimming the underline because as I said, she had puppies and it is still quite a um, sensitive area. And uh, here on the back leg, I'm going to strip the top of the back leg and then the back end over the sitting bone down to the hock. So this area will be stripped short and this area will be our blending area. The furnishing is quite short, uh, which is common after puppies, they're probably uh, playing with her legs. <laughs> um, so it will just need a tidy up. And on the shoulder and upper arm here, I'm going to show how to stretch the skin effectively. So let's do the back leg first. As I said, this part here, this will be stripped short. So you can stretch the skin here or from the inside. So I'm stretching the skin from the inside of the leg. If you struggle to stretch the skin in tuck up, you can push it, push the flank from inside. And because this is very sensitive area, just take less hair with each pull. I know. I know. Good Because really you have nowhere else to stretch. You would have to stretch here, which is a little bit uncomfortable. But if you gently, with your fist, press the flank from inside, it will stretch the skin. And then you very carefully hand strip 
this area. Now in this area we'll see how much she will tolerate. If it gets too sensitive towards the belly, I'll just clip it or scissor it. I'm stretching the skin from the other side of the body or you can stretch the skin here. She settled really well. Yeah. So I don't have to spray her now. <laughs> Another tricky area here, so I'm stretching the skin here on her uh, shoulders, on her withers. <laughs> Is it nice? So it's dripping down towards the breastbone. Good girl. They don't have, long black terriers don't have skirt, they have more of the chest hair. So all this will go short. I'm stretching the skin from the other side. So we want to see a definition between the front leg and the chest. So when it comes to stripping upper arm, <laughs> we can stretch the skin from inside. So I'm just stripping here over the triceps. Stretching the skin from the inside of the leg. And later on, you can see the definition now. Um, when I do the legs, I will blend it around the elbow. So I'll finish about um, a centimeter above the elbow and then I'll blend it when I do the legs. Who is a good girl? Who is a good girl? <laughs> so while we had a little break and Tommy was playing with Richard, you could see he scratched her here. So I'm going to use a soothing antiseptic spray to spray over the scratches. Antiseptic spray has very strong astringent properties. It means it will tighten up the tissue and it will heal the skin very quick. And I'll take a picture in a minute. I'm going to work on the back end now. This is quite sensitive area. So we're just taking a little bit of hair at a time. Um, good girl. If she will try to sit, I will use a belly strap to make it more comfortable for her. Um, as I said, this is sensitive area to hand strip, so it's best if the dog get used to it from young age. Like Tammy, she's been obviously hand strip before. The coat is growing in the rosette, so you'll have to change the direction. It's easy to pull just by thumb and finger. Good girl. Again, it's a very sensitive area. Take your time. And now I have to change direction here. Good girl. So I'm stretching the skin here. I can use the knife. Too much 
Rachel. <laughs> and uh, now hair is growing this way. So it is quite tricky and sometimes you have to move the table, lower the table if needed, put the belly strap, put the couch. Good. So I'm going to hand strip the tail. You can see the uh, coat here is quite thin compared to this part. You can see the skin as well. Um, when hand stripping the tail, just hold the tail gently but firmly and hand strip the direction of coat. On the bottom of the tail, it's better if the dog sits down or you can lower the table and hand strip this direction or you can turn your wrist and kind of like hand strip from underneath you will find a way that's comfortable for you and comfortable for the dog On the head, I'm going to hand strip uh, from the eye sockets towards the occiput, from the outer corner of the eye towards the ear. Then I hand strip the ear, uh, I'll clip it inside with blade 30, and then I'll hand strip the front. Okay? Good care. I put a little bit of chalk on. Try to position myself so you can see easily what I'm doing. Uh, so just from behind the occiput here. I'm using just the tip of the knife to pull the hair. Good girl. You don't have to use the whole blade of the stripping knife. So the top of the head is stripped, uh, cheek almost. Now when, it, when you come to this area on the side of the neck, uh, it can be quite tricky because when you hand strip, good girl, here, you need to strip down and slightly backwards and on this side of the neck, down and forward. So it's, it's very important to change direction your hand strip. So I'm stretching the skin on the other side of the neck. Good girl. Here, you can see the skin stretching. Or you can stretch here. Depends what's more comfortable for you and the dog. And the hair is growing this way, here. So that's the way I'm hand stripping now. This is a quite tricky and sensitive area, so take your time. So now I'm going to hand strip, <laughs> yes, from corner of the mouth towards the ear. So and this triangle here, it will be our blending area. And the pile is growing. So I hand stripped from corner of the mouth towards the neck. So we got like a L shape area here. And this area will be, uh, I'll, I'll finish it when I do the head. This will be a blending area. So I'm going to carry on on the front. So on the throat, we're going um, from the chin here and we're leaving the hair on the side of the jaw, both sides, good girl, to create the goatee. 
The difficult angle to um, film. So I'm stretching the skin from the other side and I let her rest uh, on my arm. So I'm stretching the skin, she's resting on my arm and I'll carry on, like you can see, yeah, <laughs> carry on stripping down towards the breastbone and then I'll go down on the point of the shoulder towards the uh, elbow. Good girl. So over here I hand strip up to the chin and then I'm going down to the breastbone and to over the point of the shoulder down towards the elbow. So I'm stretching the skin here. She's resting her head on my arm and I'm going to the breastbone. The front on long leg terriers is straight, so they don't have any chest hair at the front. So when you look at the dog from the side, you just want to see straight line. They just have a little bit of hair between the front legs. But as I said, the front is straight. It's the same for an Edo, Welsh Terrier, Fox Terrier, Irish, Lakeland Terrier and even seasoned breed like uh, Kerry Blue. So I'm, I strip down to the breastbone and now I'm going over the point of the shoulder towards the front leg. So I'm, I'm separating the front leg, chest and front leg here. When you hold the hair by the tip, and stretching the skin really well, you're less likely to <clears throat> scratch the skin. <laughs> Good girl. So now I'm stretching from inside the leg. Good girl. Now we have to notice here, the hair is growing in this direction here. <laughs> Good girl. And this direction here, so we'll have to. I will have to change the way I'm hand stripping. So I hand strip here over the point of the shoulder down towards the front leg. Now you can see the hair here, <laughs> it's growing this way, but over here it's growing up. So what you can do, you can stand up and hand strip this direction or if you're just using thumb and finger, you can easily pull it up. Don't get carried away. We don't want to make a hole on the chest. So keep checking your work. See this rosette is nice and short now. Good girl. I'll go a little bit lower here and I'll finish the front when I do the front legs so it's all matching and <laughs> the lines are flowing into each other. Now I'm going to hand strip um, here. I'm using fine and extra fine stripping knife and of course chalk. Um, when stretching the ear, all you need to do is just fold it around your finger or just hold it firmly, but gently, of course. <laughs> um, ear can be quite sensitive. Um, again, I can't see any undercoat or new coat, so we'll see how it goes. And when you're showing, um, when you're showing or competing, uh, it's important to hand strip the edge of the ear so it doesn't change the color. The inside of the ear here that can be clipped. When hand stripping the ear, you have to be aware of double skin 
here in this part of the ear. Uh, same like when you clip or hand strip. And so if you're not confident to do it with a knife, you can easily pull the hair by thumb and finger. So now I'm going to do the back leg. Um, as I said, she doesn't have a lot of furnishing here on the front of the back leg, um, but the foot is quite big. So I'm going to hand strip and tidy up with scissors her foot first. The back of the leg is finished. Then I'll create straight line of her rear pastern and then just tidy up the front and front of the rear pastern. She doesn't have much hair on the inside of the leg. Uh, so, oh yeah, I need to blend over here as well. So I'm lifting the leg in a natural position. Good girl. And strip around. You can see the coat is slightly paler here and softer as well. Um, so it's hand strip and scissored. Keep checking your work. You don't want to get carried away and take too much. So you're looking for tight, cut like foot. Okay, so as I said, the back of the leg has been done. I'm going to comb the front furnishing forward and the side furnishing to the side, combing up and out. And then I'm going to create straight line from top of leg down. When you're hand stripping the furnishing, it's very light touch. Um, you don't want to get carried away because you might end up with no furnishings. So always keep checking with, your, uh, with the comb. Because she hasn't been hand stripped for a long time, she doesn't have layers of the coat. If the coat was rolled, we would have layers of the coat nicely blended into the furnishings. On the rear pastel, we are looking for a straight line from the hog down to the foot. Like this. So you can do it when the dog is standing or leg. You can lift the leg. But again, keep checking with your comb so you don't get carried away and then you don't take too much hair. So keep checking. If she had a long furnishing, we would go around the knee to middle of the rear pastel and straight line down. So I need to let this grow. So I just tidy up the front of the rear pastel. Okay, so the back is finished, the underline is finished. I mean, it's not perfect because as you can see, and you know now, she had puppies, so the belly is still uh, quite uh, buggy, bless her. <laughs> so we can't do anything more. And if I covered um, it with hair, it would make her underline too low and it would make her look like she has short legs. So uh, we agreed she's quite happy with that. Uh, now I'm going to work on her front leg. Uh, again, she doesn't have a lot of furnishing. Uh, however, I need to blend the top of the leg because here around the elbow it is quite heavy and also her foot is quite big. So first of all, I'm going to blend um, the, the leg hair here around the elbow. So what we're looking for, the elbow should be close to the body. So if we leave any excess hair on the outside of the elbow, 
Uh, and even she walks, she will look like her elbows are uh, flying and they're very loose. So that's why we need to go as close as possible to make a straight line from the shoulder, upper arm, down to her foot. So first of all, I'm going to blend the elbow, then I'm going to hands with the foot and then connect these two points together. Okay? When we're blending, it's with, with a very light touch. We don't want to take too much hair off. So now I'm going to hand three what I can around her foot. See, it's quite soft here. So I'll just pull whatever I can and around and then tidy up with scissors. Good girl. So the front of the front leg, we come the head up and down and we create straight line from the top of the leg down and same on the outside of the leg and the inside of the leg. You can also stand in the front of the dog and actually makes you, uh, you can see better the line you are looking for or the line you, are, you want to create. The out, uh, outside and inside of the leg should be parallel. Again, you can hand through with thumb and finger, flick, or if you're confident enough, Lift the leg and hands through with the knife. She does have beautiful furnishing, beautiful texture and the colour. Um, it's just a bit shorter than we would like. So, doesn't need to let it grow. Good girl. Now the head, the last bit, um, tummy, come on tummy. So you can see uh, at the moment, it looks like she just have a fall instead of two split eyebrows, just two of these <laughs> bits sticking out. So I need to hand strip that. And then if you remember when I did a cheek, I hand strip to outer corner of the eye, then kept this straight line. And here I hand strip to corner of the mouth. So this is going to be my blending area. So when I put a comb to outer corner of the eye <laughs> and corner of the mouth, it will show me the blending area and also the shape of the goatee. So whatever is below the comb, I need to hand strip. Come on, sweetie. So I do the goatee first. So the, the shortest part is at the corner of the mouth and it's getting gradually longer. She doesn't have massive beard, so it's more like a shape it and tidy up. Good girl. So we try to create nice fluid line from the throat forward. Then this is our blending area, so when we work on that part, we comb the front whiskers forward, sides to the side, place the comb on the cheekbone and then you'll see how much hair to take off. Just a little bit at a time, keep um, strip lightly so you don't get carried away and you don't take too much from the below the eye. Because if you do, you will dish the face and the, the dog will lose his expression. So what we're looking for are these two lines should be 
these two lines should be parallel and these two lines should be parallel. So we're looking for a brick shape head. Good girl. You've been so good. Okay. So now I'm going to hand strip her eyebrows. So I need to create two split eyebrows. Um, I'm going to use just thumb and finger and separate the eyebrows first. We still want um, the top to be slightly padded, not as short like you would do with a schnauzer. Comb the hair from inner corner of the eye to corner of the nose and on the other side. Take off an excess hair. So ideally, if she had the more coat here, we were looking for a parallel straight line from here to the skull. Then I'm going to hand strip around the eye socket to from one corner of the eye to another to give a definition between the eyebrow and the skull. longer hair here I'm just going to gently pull out because they are just like that hair comes out easily and I'm creating small triangle eyebrow Good girl. so the eyebrow should be level with the skull Good girl. so we are almost done <laughs> thanks God <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to all over tummy with my fine stripping knife and the bristle brush. So I'm just gently patting the coat and whatever lifts, whatever hair lifts, I just go over with the fine knife to make her look nice and neat. So Tammy is now having well-deserved rest with Richard. Hello, you like your girlfriend? Good girl. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. <laughs> you can see she's really happy. She's not stressed at all with the full hand strip. Richard is happy to see her. <laughs> They're so cute. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions regarding hand stripping or aromatherapy, please comment below. Thank you.